Yeah, so um, with this understanding, uh, you currently participate with dance companies around town. Uh, mm -hmm. you, I may have seen you with more than one. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about some of those. Well, over the years, I've had an opportunity to perform with uh, Drums of West Africa. That's a group founded by uh, Kathleen Bailey and Eric Rucker. Uh, back in the mid to late 1990s, our family performed with Safarase, which was a group founded by uh, Yusu Lo. And uh, in 1995, uh, my wife and I uh, established the Ibeji Drum Ensemble to really honor uh, the, the joy of having twin sons, but also to provide a venue and an opportunity for the Mitchell family to uh, edutain, as we like to say, and then provide an opportunity for our sons to have a good foundation uh, for their growth and development. Since then, we've had an opportunity to perform as a family with the uh, Pittsburgh Dance Ensemble, which was a group uh, that uh, did a lot of performing uh, in the early part of uh, the 21st century. Sounds like a long time ago, <laughs> but just a, a decade or so ago. And then um, we performed with a, a local group uh, Ray Soon Soon, which was a, a fun experience for us. That was a local community group uh, founded by uh, Brother Shabaka Perkins, and uh, it was a group uh, that provided an opportunity for community uh, members to have an opportunity to uh, express uh, their love for African culture and djembe uh, dancing and drumming. Uh, most recently, uh, my wife and I have been performing, and our sons, with uh, Yamusa Kamara, uh, as well as uh, doing a lot of shows uh, with our company, the Ibeji uh, Dance and Drum Ensemble. So, uh, most recently, uh, as in the past year, we've done some shows with the Legacy Arts uh, Project. Okay. Well, um, Legacy Arts Project... Ibeji, um, and I forget the company you call Ray Sum Sum, Ray Sum, Sum yeah. with Shibaka. Uh, and these are all current manifestations, so to speak. Current uh, manifestations. Which, and then our sons have been blessed mm -hmm. to have had the opportunity to perform with uh, Balafon. And mm -hmm. certainly um, mm -hmm. that would be uh, Mama, Mama Kariatsu. So they've had a wonderful opportunity to receive tutelage under. Uh, Mama Kariatu mm -hmm. and travel across the United States and mm -hmm. certainly her relationship with us and her relationship with our sons has been a very, very rich one. Mm -hmm. So we feel very blessed to have had this opportunity mm -hmm. to have had great teachers but also experiences uh, with the local Pittsburgh-based African community. And I would also be uh, remiss if I didn't mention uh, Elia Cajonia uh, for the work that he's done over the years with uh, founding Omoja uh, in the late 1980s and bringing uh, Omoja uh, to Pittsburgh mm -hmm. as an authentic representation of African drum and dance. Mm -hmm. And so the opportunity to know uh, Ely and to perform with him and to meet many of uh, his family from mm -hmm. um, Central Africa, the Congo, mm -hmm. has been a very rich mm -hmm. one. Yeah, all right. Well, you know, there's nothing like having a broad uh, understanding, appreciation, and appreciation for the many cultures yes. on the continent of Africa. And so we love to encounter mm -hmm. kindred spirit in that mm -hmm. sense. Okay, so the, uh, the next presentation that um, Kente Arts is bringing mm -hmm. to Pittsburgh is the Universal African Dance and Drum Ensemble from uh, Camden, New Jersey. Uh, are you familiar with them? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. So, uh, just give us a cursory thought on what your experience is or what your knowledge okay. is of them. Well, I haven't seen an actual performance. I'm familiar with uh, the name as well as the reputation. Um, mm -hmm. Let me start by saying this is an amazing uh, company uh, and representation of the richness of African culture uh, founded by a, a husband and wife and mm -hmm. very much a family uh, group, a very large family. 
uh, representing uh, the richness of African-centered uh, vision, as well as uh, the importance of having a multi-generational uh, company that showcases the children, uh, the teenagers, the young adults, uh, the adults and the elders. And, uh, and, and just let's inject, this is not one family, this is the family and the extended family. Family and extended family. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so when you see that, when you see that on stage, uh, it really gives you a rich appreciation mm -hmm. for what we like to call the village. Because when you look at their performances, you see uh, the village in the very best traditions of uh, West Africa mm -hmm. and uh, African dance and drum. Uh, the showcase of the children, the showcase of the stilt walkers, uh, the musicians, uh, the masqueraders. In addition to the dancing and the drumming, uh, it's just uh, very rich and, and very much exciting and electrifying. Uh, the acrobatic uh, display of uh, the, the dancers, uh, the dynamic uh, presentation of the rhythms, the authentic representation of the dances, and the drumming is something that I think Pittsburgh will really uh, enjoy. Well, I appreciate that. Coming from a drummer of 20 plus years and many experiences with various mm -hmm. dance companies around, I think that uh, that's a stalwart uh, recommendation you just gave them. Well, it's a five-star recommendation. Matter of fact, I want a front seat uh, <laughs> because when, when a group like this comes to Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they, they are bringing the very best mm -hmm. of the African family and the African community and being able to experience that in a way where you see what we talk about mm -hmm. as it relates to who we are as a people. And to see that expressed on stage through mm -hmm. uh, the singing, through the musicians and the dancing, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, expression of who we are as a people. Yes, indeed. That's Kente mm -hmm. Arts Alliance, and our subtitle theme is A Weave of Culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what we always try to do is bring the highest representation of what we perceive as mm -hmm. African culture mm -hmm. to our community. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I hope to see you in the front row. Well, I'll be in the front row, um, mm -hmm. my wife and I. And certainly, um, again, this will be a wonderful experience for all of Pittsburgh um, to see uh, a large company uh, presenting this element of our culture in a way that has so much uh, versatility, mm -hmm. uh, electrifying, uh, dynamic representation of how inside of our culture there's so much diversity as well as richness. Mm -hmm. And this is one group that will bring all of that in a way that's extremely entertaining mm -hmm. but also uh, educational. So I can, I'm looking forward to uh, their show. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>